Hello again and welcome to another video from the Marketing Study Guide. In this video I'm going to have a look at the difference between a perceptual map and a positioning map. No doubt you've seen these types of maps before where we have two attributes or two dimensions on a chart and we map competing brands as demonstrated there. Now my first point is that when we're using this terminology often in a business sense and even often in marketing textbooks these terms are used interchangeably. So it depends upon the context of the discussion of what is meant. But often there's a crossover of meaning and the person's referring to one or the other. So let's have a breakdown of what the difference is. Now the word perception is the consumer's view. We want to understand how they perceive the brands in the marketplace. And we generally get the information from market research surveys, Sometimes we might use focus groups, but we need consumer data to be able to do this. Now, the reason this is perception is we want to understand the consumer's thinking. We want to see how they think the brands are positioned in the marketplace uh, across a whole range of attributes. We are not interested in reality. For example, we might ask the consumer, uh, which bank do you think is the safest? We wouldn't ask that, we'd put it in a scale. On a scale of one to nine, how would you rank bank A? Oh, there are four, how would you rank bank B? Oh, they're really safe, they're at nine. Now, if we did an analysis of accounting and their finance, we might find that that bank B is not as financially secure as perceived by the consumers. But you know what, it doesn't matter. What we're concerned about is how the brands are actually perceived in the minds of the consumer. A perceptual map essentially takes out the thinking and the, the brand structure and places it on a two-dimensional page for us to understand the views of consumers. So we would look at the overall market, we would look at key segments, and we would drill down to even niche segments to see how they understand the brands. So that's a perceptual map if it's based on consumer data. Now our positioning map is a strategic approach. Okay, so positioning is our intended goals, how we want to be positioned in the marketplace. Now we might have a basis of starting point with our consumer perception, but on, you know, we're brand B and we want to move over to here so we would construct a positioning map of how we would like the, the market to be mapped and how we want to reposition or improve our positioning in the marketplace. So it's not necessarily based on consumers, it's based on what we are trying to do, what we think competitors are trying to do, and we try to predict the future of positioning, where we are now, where we want to be, Competitors also have positioning goals. Some are very happy where they are, have no intention of changing, and others want to move into more um, viable market spaces or improve their relative positioning. So this is a strategic document that management would use in marketing. Okay, so the other thing I want to talk about is often we hear the in other interchanging terms of brand positioning, product positioning, competitor positioning, these again will relate to one of these. Okay, they're either going to be perceptual based, consumer based, so we can map brands, we can map individual products, and we obviously map competitors as well. How they're mapped depends on, based on customers, based on management goals and strategies. So hopefully that was helpful clarifying the difference. If you liked the video, please like the video and please subscribe to the channel.